Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, students. So today's uh, tutorial is about adding citations to your documents, thesis, and research papers. How do we add citations to our documents like this one appearing in front of you, like five, and here is six, and it's seven? We really uh, see uh, that people face much difficulty in uh, making documents like this and uh, pasting uh, the references like this in the document. You can see that if I uh, click on this five, this moves me to the fifth reference that I have given in the reference section of my thesis that I have written. So how do I really do this? I do this uh, with the use of bibliography file that I have cited over here slash bibliography and this I have cited over here as bibliography. So what does this mean? I can show you that if I open the folder that I have recently opened and in my thesis document, here is a bibliography file. So what does this bibliography file do? This helps me to cite the citations as given in the document, but how? You can see that here I have uh, in the bibliography file a number of uh, paragraphs like at in collection, at the rate of article, at the rate of article and so on many more like these and uh, they have been included in the bibliography file but what does this mean and from where does this come so that's not pretty difficult much difficult it's very easy uh, just stay tuned and you will learn this inshallah so how do i make this bibliography file and the very first thing we have to do is make a bibliography file so I'll click on new document and you can see that this untitled document has appeared over here and now I will save it and save it as bibliography.bib. I have already pasted a bibliography file over here so I don't really need to make another one so I'll just cancel it out but what you have to do is that you have to write bibliography.bib. This .bib is really important and then you have to save it in the folder that you have for your thesis document wherever you can see that my thesis text file is already over here and my bibliography file will be stored in the same folder what you have to do is that save this file as bibliography.bib okay and you'll just save it so what happens in that bibliography file that uh, I should open the bibliography file that I've already made to let you guys know that what does this mean this is a pet name for the reference that you need to add to your thesis like this is intro to theory and this is uh, uh, another name for a pet name so what does a pet name mean a pet name is something that you can call in your thesis in your document uh, while uh, when you need to cite the document so if I can show you that if we move to any of the documents chapter you can have a look over here that I have moved in chapter 1 on the page number this and I'll click on go to source so I've opened chapter 1.txt file and you can see that uh, here I have cited a document and I'll show you how do I cite this you can see this thing slash site and I have this name R-I-Z-O-U tutorial this 2017 where do I get this name I get this name in the bibliography file this file okay so this name and this name is the same one you get it so what does this name mean and what do we have to do with this so uh, let's have a look this line is YouTube ID this where first 10 events have been shown okay and you can see that uh, in the document what we have over here is you can see have been shown have been shown and this appears as one which appears as slash site resume tutorial over here okay so how do I get this name and how do I get all these paragraphs that I have over here so this is very much simple what you have to do is 
just you have to go to Google Chrome, Google Scholar and select the paper that you want. I guess I'll show you Hawks. I, I'm searching a paper on Hawks process. Okay. So here this is critical reflexivity in financial markets, a Hawk process analysis. Let's say that I need to um, refer this paper in my thesis. So what I need to do is I don't need to uh, make all these reference lines and all the paragraphs. I just click on this site and here I have options site in MLA format in APA in Chicago in Harvard in Vancouver. What I need to do is I click on Bibtex. Okay. So I click on Bibtex and you can see that this window has appeared automatically. So what I do is I select this all. I copy this and I'll just paste this file in my bibliography I'll paste this document in my bibliography file okay so you can see that I've copied that thing in Hardman 2013 critical this name is automatically appearing over here from and we are getting from this from the paper that we have that we need to cite so I have copied this and pasted it in my bibliography file now if I need to cite this document, this research paper, this exact research paper that I have uh, shown you guys, the fir very first research paper, okay, this is the one in my thesis. So what I do, I just copy the citation, paste it in the bibliography file and click on save. Okay, so now what we need to do is that I'll go back to the chapter one. Here I have cited this. Thing. I'll show you that if I need to cite this paper that we had already uh, searched on the Google Chrome over here a very vertical dotted I just click on slash cite okay and you see a number of papers are already appearing in the brackets that I have uh, already these are the papers uh, that I've already installed pasted in the bibliography file so what I need to do is I need to go and check that what n uh, name was referred to this paper so it is something hard demon 2013 critical okay so I'll uh, I know that uh, the paper name starts with H so I have so I'll just H and you can see Hardiman 2013 critical is already in the list. I'll just click on it and you can see a vertical dotted site Hardiman 2013 critical has appeared over here. So now let's have a look that what does it do. I'll just run it. Okay so the compilation has completed and you can see number 5 is appearing over here a vertical dotted that we have uh, cited over here and this number 5 is referring to what? Let's have a look. Here is Stephen J. Hardiman, Nicholas Burkott and all these names that I have not written myself. I have just copied the citation uh, bibtex from Google Scholar and pasted it in my bibliography file and wherever I need to cite any of the papers or any of the uh, documents that you have you just need to paste the citation the bib text text in your bibliography and the rest you need to do is that you need to cite the document as I've given like this in your uh, chapter or anywhere that you need to cite it so you'll just make a bibliography file paste the citations uh, from the papers in that file and then you can cite uh, your papers anywhere in your paragraphs in your text in your research papers by using slash site and this paper names will appear automatically you just to enter it and select it and they will be numbered automatically they will be placed automatically and it's the best way to cite documents and make a references file uh, bibliography file so that's pretty much how to do this thing I hope that uh, this would be easy and uh, not much difficulty for you guys anymore. So take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.